Hello friends, this video on changes around us part 10 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 6. A thick coating of a paste of plaster of Paris is applied over the bandage on a fractured bone. It becomes hard on drying to keep the fractured bone immobilized. Can the change in POP be reversed? Now normally when somebody undergoes a fracture either in hand or leg, so normally you would have seen that the doctor uh, apply, makes a bandage over it and that has plaster of Paris. So this plaster of Paris is a uh, uh, is a paste which when dry becomes extremely hard and then you cannot make it soft again. Now since it is very hard, so it kind of uh, keeps your um, hand or leg at the same position for a long period of time so that the uh, fractured bone can set itself once again. So that's the purpose. So this, ty this type of change of plaster of Paris, like initially it was like a paste and once it is dried, it becomes hard and solid. So it is an irreversible change. So the change cannot be reversed. So it is irreversible. Question number seven. A bag of cement lying in the open gets wet due to rain during the night. The next day the sun shines brightly. Do you think the changes which have occurred in the cement could be reversed? Now when the, this is how the dry cement looks like. Now let's say you pour some water into it. So you will get a paste like structure. And if you allow it to dry, what you get is a solid structure. In fact, that is how construction of buildings take place. So cement is widely used for construction purposes. So this is how, this, that, this is the property of cement which uh, makes it so useful for construction building uh, for constructing buildings so when it is wet it is like a paste but once it dries up it becomes very solid and tough and then you cannot uh, make it undergo any change so let's say a lot of people do these things like you make your hand imprint when it is wet so this is your dry cement you pour some water into it so you'll get a paste now immediately when it is wet you just uh, make your hand print on it and then you allow it to dry so once it gets dried up so this becomes extremely solid it becomes like a frame it's extremely solid no further changes would be entertained so in this case this could not be reversed so the answer would be no because cement once hardens doesn't come back to its original texture so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on um, changes that is reversible and irreversible changes would have helped you so all i would like to tell you is just try observing various types of change that happen around you that happen within you now some of the changes which happen in your own body for example your hair grows your um, nails grow uh, so your height increases so a lot of changes happen even within your body as well as outside so try observing those changes and try to analyze whether that change would be reversible or irreversible so i hope this lesson would have helped you see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.